the easy cal trick that you are about to learn now is extremely useful. It goes by the name jumping tense trick of faster addition. Basically it will help you mentally add the numbers quickly and correctly even when you cannot see the numbers written before you. So let's take a quick test and find out how good is your ability to add numbers. I will give you some numbers to add and you will have to add them mentally in 3 seconds. What is 37 plus 12? What is 44 plus 25? What is 58 plus 23? That's it. So, how many could you get right? Well, if you got all of them right, then fantastic. The method that you are using is certainly working for you. So, you can skip this video and go to the next trick immediately. Uh, in case you struggle to add these numbers, then take two deep breaths and relax. For the trick that you are about to learn now, we'll take care of all your two-digit addition. The first question that you were given was to add 37 and 12. Well, if the numbers were written before you like this, then it would have been very simple. 3 plus 1 is 4 and 7 plus 2 is 9. So the answer would have been 49. But when the numbers are not there in front of you, then it becomes a different ball game altogether. You have to see the numbers in your mind's eye. You have to hold them in your mind and then you have to add them. And that becomes a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Don't worry. I will help you reprogram your mind so that not only you can hold the numbers in your mind but can add them smoothly as well. Okay? So you have to do it in this pattern. Take the tenth digit of any number as jump and the other digit as add. Alright, now add this 2 to 37. 37 plus 2 is 39. Now from 39 jump 10 once. So answer would be 49, isn't it? Basically you have added 10 to 39. But you don't need to add 10. You can simply jump from 39 to 49. Okay, let's take another example. What is 37 plus, let's say, 14? Alright, so 37 plus 4 is how much? 41. And jump the 10, so it will be 51. Isn't it? Now, let me make it more visual for you. Okay, what you are seeing on your screen now is called a number table. It is a very powerful tool to help you develop number sense. That is, the ability to see numbers in your mind. So all I have done here is write numbers from 1 to 100 in columns. Like this, this, this. Isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so on and so forth. I have just put the numbers in column. Now let's see how we use this number table to add numbers. Now we have to add 37 and 12. Okay, So mark the units digit of any number out of the two numbers, preferably the smaller number as add and the tens digit as jump. We always mark the tens digit as jump and that is why it's known as jumping 10 technique. Alright, so now add 2 to 37, it would be 38, 39. Alright, from 39 jump 10. So, answer would be 49. Now, let's try to add 56 and 14. 
all right so this units digit is add and the tens digit is jump so 56 plus 4 is 60 and jumping 10 once will give us 70 that's your answer what is 36 plus 21 so 36 plus 1 is 37 now you have to jump 10 how many times 2 times isn't it so 47 57 that's your answer are you getting a hang of it now what is 64 plus 32 so 64 plus 2 is 66 now you have to jump 10 3 times so 76 86 96 that's your answer now are you getting a feel for numbers with little practice what will happen that this entire number table will get embossed in your mind then you don't need to use this number table like while you were learning how to ride a bicycle isn't it I'm trying to draw one you had put those two support wheels on the side isn't it so that you don't fall down but moment you learned how to balance the cycle on two wheels you got rid of them didn't you similarly the purpose of using this number table is just to help you get the feel for the numbers moment you have it you don't need it isn't it you'll be doing all these calculations in your mind and it's not like that that you have to wait for very long to be able to add numbers without this table we'll be doing it right now okay uh, by the way, this is not looking like a bicycle, rather a poodle on wheels. <laughs> yeah, but I think you got the point. <laughs> right, so let's do it without the number table now. Okay, so now don't look at the number table. Just listen to what I'm saying, all right, and try to solve the question. What is 33 plus 12? The moment I say 33, try to see 33 in your mind. Try to see this table in your mind and see 33 in it. Can you see it? Alright. Now, 33 plus 2 is 35 and jump 10, 45. That's your answer. Isn't it? Okay. Let's take one more example. What is 63 plus 14? Alright, so 63 plus 4 is 67 and jump 10, so 77. What is 73 plus 23? So 73 plus 3 is 76, now 86, 96. Isn't it? We have jumped 10 twice, that's it. I hope you are seeing it in your mind. If I say what is 45, the moment I say 45, you should be able to see 45 in your mind. Alright, are you seeing it on the number table in your mind? Now, what is 45 plus 33? So, 45 plus 3 is 48. Now, 58, 68, 78. 78 is your answer. Well, if you are thinking that you might over jump or under jump, all right, because perhaps you are just starting out with this method. So, initially you can use your finger. So, if I say what is 55 plus let's say 32. So, immediately 55 plus 2 is 57. Now, you have to jump, isn't it? And you have to jump three times. You have to jump three tens. So, do it on your fingers. I'm just making your hand like this make a fist okay now jumping once so it will become 67 so one finger should come up jumping the next 10 another finger should come up it will become 77 and jumping the last 10 the third 10 it will become 87 so that's your answer initially you can use your fingers but I tell you what once you understand once you practice then you don't need to use that it will just automatically flow your mouth will automatically say the answer see with little practice you can jump directly now see I'll show you how 
what is let's say 55 plus 34 so I'll say 59 and then 89 all right little practice is not a very difficult thing to do again again what is uh, 66 plus 32 all right so 66 plus 2 is 68 jump 10 three times so it will be 98 as simple as that now what you do you make a number table for yourself and you practice and I assure you if you just practice for 15 minutes that would be good enough alright in 15 minutes you will be able to do the mental addition very fast without seeing the numbers or the table for that matter alright okay now let's take it to like three digit numbers okay so what is 136 plus 22 So 136 plus 2 is 138 and jump 10 2 times it would be 158 that's your answer. What is 153 plus 36? So 153 plus 6 is 159 and jump 10 3 times it would be 189. Now this trick would also be used for subtracting the numbers mentally, alright? But the only difference would be instead of jumping up tens, isn't it? Like jumping up means like here on this side, you will be jumping down tens like on this side. That's the only difference. In fact, this trick is so good that throughout the EasyCal series, whenever I needed to add the numbers mentally without seeing them, I have used the same technique, jumping tens. To get to the answer like we were doing that one step multiplication with those arrows if you remember so if you remember that middle step you had to add the numbers isn't it like 6 5 times is 30 all right now 6 2 times is 12 and 7 5 times is 35 and 35 plus 12 would be 37 47 jumping up tens all right 7 2 times is 14 so the answer would be 30 plus 4 is 34 and 84 that's your answer